things that people may have heard of are BPA, which is actually something that many plastic products uh, often used to contain before they got banned. But we know that BPA has been largely eliminated from the production of plastic, but there are many, many other uh, chemicals that actually mimic the action of these particular plastics and have been studied fairly widely in preclinical studies and in, in mice and have demonstrated all sorts of side effects, which are you know not really the kind of thing that uh, women would be wanting to be ingesting, given that we just don't know and we are quite unsure about what these long-term effects are going to be. So one of the easiest and simplest ways to look at it is to start to look at what you cook your food in uh, and move away from plastics and Teflon and use things like cast iron uh, and store uh, food in glass containers, don't reheat things in plastic either. And even so simple things like your coffee cup. So they're often lined with uh, chemicals that can be um, ingested and mimic your own hormones. So the heat applied to those particular packaging can actually trigger that uh, issue and worsen the amount of those chemicals that transition into your coffee. And therefore you can get this, this issue happening as well. Uh, the other things are perfumes and fragrances and makeup. And there are many options now on the market for low toxin products that are actually trying to reduce some of these things such as phthalates and um, parabens. So I think that's really key, a key factor given that women disproportionately will be using some of these products and are unknowingly uh, contributing to problems like uh, hormonal imbalances that then can cause gynecological disorders.